wrestling fans, absolutely intense wrestling fans, are there. Welcome to another installment of AIW Behind the Curtain. I am honored and privileged to be sitting here with Milk Chocolate Willie Mack. Yeah. yeah, I'm honored to be here at AIW with all the AIW fans. Well, the, uh, the purpose of these interviews is to sit back and relax and kind of give the AIW crowd a bit of perspective on who you are and what you've done in this industry. Uh, and obviously, people are no stranger to you. Started out with pro wrestling roll up. Uh, I started out with a little company in Anaheim, and then I progressed my way up and got noticed by PWG and NWA Hollywood and all the other places. And I guess people been paying more attention to PWG and said, "Hey, who's this guy? Where have you been? I'm, I've been here for the past damn six years now, so I ain't nothing new." <laughs> Let's go back six years. Um, how, how did you get your start in this business? Well, I was in school, and my teacher knew that I liked wrestling a lot, and he said, well, you should try out for that stuff. I like, I wouldn't know the slightest idea how to get a hold of anybody. And so, he went online, searched up wrestling schools in Southern California, found one in the name of Revolution Pro at the time, now it's called AWS, Alternative Wrestling, and I went there one day, trained, I was 14 years old at the time, and it was my day off from school, I said, you know what? I'm gonna graduate first, get my diploma, and then come back full time. And sure enough, June 20th, 2005, got my diploma, graduated June 20th, 21st, 2005. I was right there training, my first like official day, and been doing it ever since. All right, um, and obviously you're a fixture on the on the California independent scene. Um, a lot of a lot of fans are obviously. They know you from uh, Pro Wrestling Gorilla. Uh, can you speak a little bit about your experience with that company? Well, Pro Wrestling Gorilla was like my first major indie going to. Because the same teacher that looked it up online found Pro Wrestling Gorilla on Google search. And the first show I went to was Jason Takes PWG, which the main event was AJ Styles, the PWG champ at the time, versus Chris Daniels for the X Division title, and then went to a 60-minute draw. And ever since then, I said, man, I'm going to wrestle here one day. And you know, as a kid, you're thinking, that's a pipe dream. That ain't going to happen. That ain't going to happen. Six, seven years later, I ended up debuting there. And I was like, wow, it blew my mind. It's a great experience. <laughs> So, um, as you were getting into the independent scene, were there, any, were there any wrestlers in particular who influenced your decision to become a wrestler as you were training? Oh, training or coming up, I had the main ones like Hulk Hogan, Bret Hart, and Booker T. Hey, gotta support the black man. Um, and Ahmed Johnson. You don't Ahmed hear his name too much, but Ahmed Johnson was the shit. And if you're watching, I want you to know it. Ahmed Johnson. I'm bringing back the Pro River Plunge, baby. I'm bringing it back. Was that a play thing for you when, uh, when Ahmed Johnson and Booker T were feuding over the right to the letter T in Harlem Heat? Yeah, it was. It was kind of a trip. I was like, damn. These are two of my favorite, like, best wrestlers. Black, and they fighting over the name, and it was craziness. Were you a Stevie Ray fan at all? Stevie Ray was alright. I like Booker, like, I don't know, it was weird, but Stevie was cool. Yeah. Like, hey, at least you can say he was the, at least you can say the only black dude who was the leader of the NWO. That's right, NWO Hollywood, Stevie Ray. Yes. Um, obviously, uh, just, just kind of thinking about things that I know about you, uh, you, you're a big fan of Insane Cop Posse, right? Yes. A big fan of ICP. Uh, some call you the Chocolate Juggle one. Yeah. Have you, have you worked for uh, Insane Cop Posse? Yes. JCW I did once when I came to the Grove in Anaheim, and I made my JCW somewhat debut against Man Man Pondo. Oh, against Pondo? Yes. How did that go? She was crazy. I got my nuts smashed with a cinder block and hit in the head with a stop sign, but I got my shit in. Yeah. Um, obviously, uh, Pondo worked uh, a match against the Passion John Thorne tonight. Did you get a chance to see any of that? I saw the whole thing, and that was a pretty good damn match. And all y'all that hate on hardcore wrestling or deathmatch wrestling, y'all need to stop it. It's still one word. Wrestling. It's fans of everything, and if that's what they like, hey, don't hate them for it. It's a style. It's an art. Shit. Um... I, I suppose speaking about tonight, the, the JT Lightning Invitational Tournament, you aren't particularly well known for coming to the Midwest or even even the East Coast all that often. 
Uh, is, there, is there any reason for it, or is it you stick to the, to the California Dodgers? Well, well, if you fans don't know, it costs money to bring my black ass out. And so, if y'all could put a fund together, anywhere y'all at, we want Willie Mac here. Y'all could put that shit aside in like a tip jar and give it to the promoter and make sure, hey, we want Millie, Willie Mac here the next time. And who is this little Negro in my crib? Willie, my man, I'm making my trip all the way back home to the great state. I like the board. It's good to see you guys. Cameraman, it's good to see you too. I love that. I love you. that picture. <laughs> you guys take it easy. Thank you guys so much. What do you mean? Y'all get ready for that hot new tag team, son. Chocolate weather, chocolate thunder, chocolate rain. Make it rain, make it rain. What was that sugar water sweet dick or whatever? It's sugar water sweet dick, oh, really? You gotta get it from down here. Jeez, jeez. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't know what he's talking about either, to be honest with you. He's talking about me. He's talking about you. Right. They said I got a sweet dick, but I don't know how he would know that. Motherfucker. Yep. Well, uh, um. I, I guess we could, we could talk about tonight. The uh, Jayla ACH just walked by. Um, what what was that like wrestling wrestling ACH? I know that that's been a dream match for independent wrestling fans. It happened here tonight. Man, I didn't even like really know until like when I went over to the East. They were like, "Oh, you had ACH and who this and that," and I'm like, "Damn, people really want this." And I'm glad that AIW like was the fed that brought us together. Hopefully, we could either tag up or have a, another round the matches and see what happens because that should have been straight hotness. Goodbye. Oh shit. Let's eat them pain. Oh. Yeah, okay, give me an interview, an interview. Take it easy. Okay. Peace dude. Yeah, I wrestled him the first night. It was hotness. Um what what would you say your experience in Cleveland was like this weekend over the weekend? Man, it was fun. This was like my first time wrestling on the Midwest and I hope to come back. I didn't know, I didn't think any of the fans knew who the hell I was, but sure enough, I heard a please come back chance and all that other good stuff, and I met a lot of cool people, and the workers was, the locker room was great, and I hope to come back and meet more of these people. You got a hell of a reaction from the crowd. Um, even even after your match with ACH, uh, acting president Matt Wadsworth came out and said that you have a home here in AIW, if you so choose. Uh, is it fair to say that, you know, Absolute Intense Wrestling is your Midwest home? Hey, I can say that right now. Y'all took the time out of y'all way to bring me out and house me out here for like the past two days. So hell yeah, AIW is going to be my home. And I hope to be back. Absolutely. Yeah, I said it. I would love to see you come back. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it. Get the Kickstarter going. Get Willie Mac back to the Midwest. Uh, tremendous showing in his AIW debut this weekend. Really, Matt, thank you very much for sitting down with me. Thank y'all for taking the time out to interview me and bringing me out and having a blast like I'm supposed to. It's wrestling, baby. It's supposed to. Oh shit, hit me up on Facebook.com, Willie Mac, and at Twitter, uh, Willie, Willie underscore Mac. Follow me, and you'll hear some funny and deranged shit that comes from my mind every once in a while, but hey, if you know me already, you'll learn to like that shit. <laughs>